Dear uncle, from age five to 10 years old, you dramatically changed my life for who I'd be as an adult. I don't know how to say this, but I like having YouTube because it's like, dear diary, you know, um, you don't care if your body judges you, you just really get it off your chest, you know, but I want to say to all the schizophrenic girls in the strip clubs or in jail, even the men, but only focusing on the women right now. Okay. Cause I'm a woman. So I'm speaking of the women and God bless you men too. But for all the girls that have multiple personality disorders or bipolar, they're high anxiety because of rape or molestation, that's a true PTSD as well. Um, our uncles, our dads, our you know family best friends to trust, they let us down and they hurt our bodies. I almost had my uterus flipped at nine years old. You're enough, you're beautiful. You are enough. You're beautiful. Um, it wasn't your fault, even though sometimes, like, we don't feel good in our heads and in our bodies. You know what I mean? And we just can't function. Even, like, this one girl that has this um, this multiple disorder, multiple personality disorders, one of them was the age she, like, her, one of her, um, her, turn, her people, one of her tics, one of her whatever, people, altern, alt, alt, alternate people persons or whatever was a three-year-old little girl and that was her age that she was molested then she had a protector alter ego that would come out and protect the three-year-old and hide her from danger I mean just a lot of stuff your mind is a terrible thing to waste you're sometimes it's hard to put things together you don't know why you feel the way you do you don't know you know if you hurt people if you hurt yourself if you just feel yucky or just if you do any acting out behavior it's okay to get help. It's okay to tell somebody, find somebody that'll listen to you, that'll care, because even talking about it feels good. It helps you through your day. It helps you not be negative. You don't have to hurt people because you're hurt. You don't have to, you know, lash out. All you have to do is just write stuff down, um, talk, to, talk to the camera, you know, and get it out in the universe so you'll feel better. Um, talk to a friend. If you're religious, talk to... A pastor, if you're spiritual, talk to a spiritual guider, you know, someone that'll give you good guidance. Um, hopefully you have a good mom or a dad or sisters or brothers that love you unconditionally that you can talk to just as well first, though. But it's okay to be who you are. You're not a product of your environment because you didn't do that to yourself and you didn't ask for it. So it's time to start healing. It's time to not be complacent, not to call ourselves a black sheep, not to say, well, this happened to me. That's why I act this way. Nope, nope, nope. Mm -mm. Reprogram, manifest destiny. Start to every day wanting to be different, making different choices, no matter how you do things, if it's on the negative side. Start watching happy stuff on TV or on vlogs. Start watching happy, um, like I like to watch surprise proposals or we're having a baby things or um, I'm surprising my mom with, I mean, just anything you can find, not even Lifetime because they have bad stuff on Lifetime. Hell, I only watch Hallmark. I want to be guaranteed a happy ending. Just focus on you. Take care of you every day. Make a conscious effort to do something good. Don't be tight with your kids and with your mom and your dad and your families and your coworkers. Figure out why you're so pissed off and start working on it. It ain't their fault. Just like what you did isn't chores. Hurt people hurt people. Let's stop hurting each other. I love y'all. Take care of you. And thanks for listening to my two cents. All right. Bye. Peace.